everyone, welcome back to the makeup chair. Today's video is a beginner's guide to eye makeup. From picking primers, choosing brushes, picking out eyeshadows, and an easy application that everyone can try, along with some fun tips and tricks. So let's get started. So we're actually gonna start off with the brows. I like to start off by framing the shape that I wanna create. So to do this, you can fill in the very bottom part of your brows, or if you've already filled in your brows, use a little bit of concealer and just go around the edges. Then take your fingertips and just pat it down to make sure it blends onto the lid. By starting off with the brows, we create that framework for the rest of our eyeshadow. And we can work from the brow down. Then we wanna prep the lids. Now prepping your lids is so important. It blurs out any discoloration or imperfections on the lid, which gives us a nice blank canvas to work on, but it'll also give our eyeshadow something to hold on to as well. And there's two main ways to prep the lid, the basic way and the more intense way. The basic way is kind of old fashioned. It's just to use a bit of concealer and then powder over the top. The concealer would disguise any discoloration in the lid and create a blank canvas. And the powder over the top will then create a smooth canvas for you to work on. Powder on top of powder is a really smooth blend and it's great for beginners, but it doesn't hold on to shadow the same way as using a primer does. So I'd recommend this for really just basic makeup looks, kind of an everyday look. The second way then is for more dramatic looks and that's to actually use an eyeshadow primer. What eyeshadow primers do is they work with your skin and it also works with the eyeshadow. It gives the eyeshadow something to hold on to while protecting and creating a barrier over your lid. I'd actually recommend investing in a really good one because it will last you for like two years and you only need a very small amount of it. Now a question I got asked last week is do you have to set it with powder? It actually depends on the type of primer. Some of them will actually set themselves and then other times leaving it a little tacky will give the eyeshadow something to really grab hold of. But for beginners I'd actually recommend not having a very damp base because it does make it a little trickier to blend. If it feels very damp and very tacky, use a little bit of powder or just like a neutral eyeshadow. So there's pros and cons for either way. Once we've prepped, we can then apply eyeshadow. Now there's so many different eyeshadow textures, tones, formulas, finishes. Sometimes it can just be overwhelming. But really, for a makeup look, you just need three to four eyeshadows. And three to four is a great one to start off with for beginners. Once you get a hang of three or four, you can start adding more. For this look, I have chosen four eyeshadows. One of them is an extra option, and the other three are in the neutral tones. Now you can actually use this technique to try different colors as well. Obviously I went for the brown tones, but you can have purple tones, blue tones, anything you want really. You just wanna stay within the depth of the color, but it can be any color you want. I just went for neutral. So the first eyeshadow has to be at least one shade lighter than your skin. This is your highlighter shade, and it can be satin, matte, shimmer, totally up to yourself. My preferred way is actually to use a shimmer. I really like the way it catches the light and it also creates dimension and shape as well. Now, if you don't have a good highlighter, you can always use your face highlighter on your eyes as well. The next eyeshadow is your mid-tone. This is the most important one out of everything else that you use. Your mid-tone is there to help blend and fade and creates a slight shape. This should be at least one shade darker than your skin, but it always must be matte. If it's not matte, it won't create the right shaping for you. Now your mid-tone can actually be swapped out for your contour shade, provided it's matte, but you just wanna make sure it's not too dark. One to two shades darker max, three shades darker, and you're going into a whole other thing. Which brings me on to my next one the contour shade. Unlike the contour shade that we use on our face, this is a lot darker than our skin tone. A contour shade can be often confused for our mid-tone. The mid-tone is actually way more important. A contour shade can be absolutely anything. It can be matte, shimmer, you name it, everything goes. But a mid-tone has to remain being matte and it can't be too dark either. So just make sure you don't confuse your mid-tone and your contour shade. The easiest way to remember that is that your mid-tone is off on its own and your highlight and your contour shade are basically doing exactly the same thing, just the opposite. So your highlight shade is bringing in the light and the contour shade is adding in the depth, but your mid-tone is for blending everything. Now you guys see, I also have a black in here. I'd recommend having a black in your palette just so you can deepen and darken anything that you want, or you can use it as liner, you can use it to smudge out eyeliner, totally up to yourself. Your black doesn't even have to be black. It can be a dark purple, dark navy, me, very dark ashy brown. Depends on your skin tone, your eye color. I just went for black. Once you've picked out your eyeshadows, it's then time to pick out your brushes. So I typically use two to four brushes. Kind of depends on the look that I'm going to create. The first one is your flat brush. This basically replaces sponge tip applicators and your fingertips. This is used for picking up and applying the eyeshadow. So you can apply eyeshadows or pigments, highlighters, contours, whatever it might be. This is the best way to apply it. It will really sit well on the lid and it will grab hold of the skin. So it's going to be great for beginners if you're struggling to get your eyeshadows to show up. Now depending on where you hold it on the handle, this will change 
change the pressure that you're applying the eyeshadow with. So if you really want to pack on a color, hold it a little further up. This will give you maximum pressure and maximum control. In the center, this is where you typically apply everything. It gives you medium pressure, medium control, and then holding it right down in the bottom, this gives you very little control. Not something you really want to do with a flat brush. The only time I would ever hold it this far down is if I'm reapplying maybe a little bit of glitter, a little bit of pigment, and I'm just barely touching the skin. But holding it in the center is the best way to do it. When you're picking up eyeshadows with a flat brush, you want to make sure you're pressing it very lightly into the palette. This will lift up just enough to coat both sides, but you don't want to bend or twist the bristles. Keep it quite flat and you'll get the best pigmentation pickup. Next we have a pencil brush. There's so many different ways that you can use a pencil brush. They're great for smudging or blending in smaller areas and they come in lots of different sizes. This is just a nice medium one. You can also use this to push it down slightly to create a flat small edge for getting maybe right underneath the eyes or right by the lash line or maybe underneath the brows. Pencil brushes are often overlooked but they do make a massive difference. So even though it's not an essential, it is something I recommend trying. When it comes to applying with a pencil brush, what you wanna do is to very lightly tip the brush into the product. You only wanna coat the very top of it. The rest of the bristles all the way around, that's there for creating support to help you blend. But the actual application needs to start just on this very tip. And when it comes to holding the brush, that depends on how you're using it. If you're smudging, you might want to hold it a little further up. As I said, the closer you hold it up to the top, the more control, the more pressure you're going to apply. So if you're very lightly smudging, just a tiny little mistake, hold it quite far down on the handle and just do little wiggles. And this will just create a soft blend for you. The final two brushes is a clean blending brush and then your application blending brush. I actually wouldn't recommend applying a lot of eyeshadows with your blending brush. It creates a very sheer effect. You're better off using your flat brushes to apply and then use your blending brushes to soften it out. But sometimes it depends on the look that you're trying to create. A blending brush can actually apply a nice amount of eyeshadow, but it does it a little sheerer compared to a flat brush. But I still recommend having two. One for applying and kind of dirtying up everything, and then one for softly blending. The reason I keep a clean one is because I don't want to create a muddy effect. This will blend for me, especially if I'm blending a couple of different shades together, without getting that muddy effect with the brush that I've already applied those shadows with. That gives too much of a mix between all the different eyeshadows, whereas this will give you a clean line and a clean blend. And just as I've been saying this whole time about how you hold it, this makes a massive difference as well. First of all, you should be holding it similar to how you hold a pen, but you're just gonna stretch out your hand a little bit so it's resting in this little area here. So typically when I'm applying with a blending brush, I hold it in the center. But when I'm blending out with a blending brush, I hold it further down. The way that you hold your brushes is the last thing to kind of develop. You only learn it from constantly practicing and figuring out where you need to hold it. The best technique I would say though is, if you have a makeup artist that you love watching, watch how they hold their handles. Whether they're holding the brush quite far up or quite far down, and also the placement as well. Sometimes they might come at the eye quite low down, high up, keeping it at eye level, or sweeping up. You can learn this technique, but natural makeup artists typically already know how to do it. It's kind of an artistic way, but that doesn't mean that you can't learn it. You just have to really concentrate and eventually you'll become a natural. Now it's time to apply. So we want to start off with the flat brush and the lightest shade that we're going to apply. If you pick up a little bit too much eyeshadow, make sure to tap it back onto the eyeshadow. Don't tap it into the air and don't blow on your brushes. It's unhygienic. I'm starting the lightest shade on that inner corner pressing it very firmly down. The first place that you touch the skin with the brush will have the most pigment. So make sure this is where you want the concentration of color to be. I'm using a pressing and gliding motion, working from the inner corner and then across the lid. Now for close set eyes, you really want to apply that highlighter in that inner corner. This will open the eyes and push them further apart. For wide set eyes, however, you actually want to start in the center of the lid, blend out and blend in. We don't want a lot of light on this inner corner because our eyes are already too far apart. If you don't know whether you're a close set, balanced, or wide set eye, check out the video up here. Next is your mid-tone. Now you wanna keep your eyes open when you're applying your mid-tone. Might feel a little bit strange, but trust me, it definitely helps. So keep your eyes open and start on the outer edge this time and blend inwards, sweeping over and back, holding the brush right in the center. If you need to softly blend it, hold it a little further down and then softly blend that out. The higher you hold it up, the more concentration you're gonna have. And the lower you hold it down, the sheerer the application is going to be. So holding it in the center will be a great way to start 
but if it's going on a little heavy, dust off the excess on your hand and then hold a brush a little further down to soften it out for you. If you're not sure where to stop blending on that outer edge, take your brush, line it up with the edge of the nose, edge of the eye and aim for the edge of the brow. You wanna keep the eyeshadows in from this point. So start there with your application and blend in and back again, making sure not to go beyond that point. Now that's just a basic way of doing it. Some looks will need you to drag it outwards, but for an everyday look, that's your stopping point. Contour is the next step, and I'm gonna use the same brush for this. So we're gonna start this eyeshadow on the outer edge of the eye, but your mid-tone is actually always higher than your contour. So keep that contour nice and low. If you wanna really get into that crease, don't be afraid to press down the bristles to create a nice smooth line, and then open up the bristles to blend. But just remember, that mid-tone has to be higher than your contour. Your contour is there for the depth, the mid-tone is there for the fade. You're gonna do this in exactly the same way, sweeping over and back. However, if you have close set eyes, try keeping the contour just in that outer third. And if you have wide set eyes, bring it all the way in towards the nose. You can then take your clean blending brush and just go around the edges. This will soften it out for you, blend your contour and your mid-tone together without creating that muddy effect. Now for underneath the eyes, I like to add a little bit of definition as well. I actually start off with the contour shade really close to those lashes. And I'm gonna take the mid-tone shade and work around the edges of the contour. Your mid-tone is the furthest away from your lashes, whether it's at the bottom or it's at the top. It has to create that nice fade for you. For close set eyes, keep it to just the outer third. For wide set eyes, you can bring it all the way in. Then you can use the black eyeshadow for just adding a little bit of definition. You could apply it underneath the eyes or on the top. Just keep it as close to the lash line as possible and then softly blend it out. And all you have to do is finish off with liner, lashes, mascara, whatever you choose. If you're struggling at all creating a makeup look, definitely let me know. You can always send me a picture. I am here to help. And I'll see you guys in my next video.